So Amish live in 31 states. Today I'm gonna to count down to 10 states with the largest Amish populations. Now I've already done a video on the top 10 largest Amish communities, but today we're focusing on just the states. The top three states on this list account for over 60% of the Amish population. So if you're Amish, there's about a six in 10 chance that you'll live in one of the top three states on this list. So even though they're found in 31 states, is quite top heavy for the top three states. So number 10 is Illinois. In Illinois, most of the Amish in this state are found in the community of Arthur, Illinois, which was also on the 10 largest communities list. Illinois has a decent number of Amish communities, but most of them are quite small in size. So the bulk of their population is in the Arthur community. Ava is another community in the state. That's a new order Amish settlement in the Southern end of the state. Number nine is Iowa. Iowa has three sizable Amish communities at Kelowna, at Bloomfield, and a more conservative group at Hazleton in Buchanan County. Number eight is Kentucky. A lot of Amish have been drawn to settle in the bluegrass state. It's, for whatever reason, it's proven to be an attractive destination for Amish. So we've had a lot of Amish settlements appearing there in just the past 10, 15 years. And this is another point worth mentioning, Amish move around quite a bit. So they will often start new communities in new places. Could be for different reasons. Sometimes an area where they're living, the price of the land has gotten too high. And so they, they move in search of cheaper farmland so they can stay in the traditional way of life and farming. Some Amish in larger communities may feel that the community has become too progressive in its ways and they may relocate to start a more conservative church, and for other reasons. Number seven, Missouri. So Missouri is another state that has attracted a lot of new Amish settlement. The Amish population in Missouri has actually tripled in the past 20 years, which exceeds the normal Amish growth rate. The Amish tend to more or less double in the course of 20 years. So there are over 50 Amish settlements in Missouri today. And so a settlement is just a location where Amish live. There could be maybe five Amish families living in that settlement in one little tiny church. And a settlement could have 200 church districts in tens of thousands of Amish residents. They're both considered settlements, right? So it's just basically, it's a geographic location where the Amish live. Several of the larger ones are Jamesport, uh, Seymour, which is a plainer Amish settlement there, and around the town of Clark. The one at Seymour is by far the largest with over 3,000 Amish living there. Number six is Michigan. And this is another state with a lot of Amish settlements. It's got over 50 Amish settlements as well. A lot of them are in southern Michigan near the Indiana border. The largest Amish settlement in Michigan is around the town of Centerville in St. Joseph County. There's about 1,800 Amish living there. Not all Amish settlements survive. When settlements are started, one thing that's important is that they attract enough people there, that they can have a church, uh, that they're young people and have other young people that they can associate with, that they can meet, that they can date, that they can get married to. Uh, if they don't have that, they sometimes have to, or they often have to travel to other related settlements to interact with other youth and meet people that way. So that's, that's one important reason they have to attract people to join them. They also need to have a ministry there. You know, they either have a minister or ministry that comes with them, moves, you know, moves there, joins them there, or, and or they need to ordain ministry from the people that are living there. You need to have a ministry to have a church. Ministers, you know, a bishop, they can manage without that for some time, but that's one thing that needs to happen for the settlement to survive longer term. Number five on the list is New York. New York has drawn a lot of Amish over the past 10 to 20 years. In fact, the population here has more than quadrupled in that time. So this is about the fastest growing uh, state for the Amish. New York offers a lot of inexpensive farmland for the Amish, and that's one of the factors that draws them there. There's a lot of farms in upstate New York that are just not being farmed anymore. So Amish can relocate there and get land for prices that are a lot cheaper than in a community like Lancaster County, where million dollar farms are, are kind of the norm. 
the two largest Amish settlements, uh, there's one way up kind of near the Canadian border at, at around the town of Hewelton in St. Lawrence County. This is a very plain Swartz and Truber Amish community. The Swartz and Truber Amish are one of the most conservative and traditional Amish groups. And I'll be doing a separate video on that group. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the button so you don't miss that. And there's another quite large settlement in Conowango Valley in, over in the western part of the state, a little bit south of Buffalo. New York is another one with Amish scattered across the state. It's got around 60 Amish communities there. I visited New York a couple of years ago for the first time to visit one of my friends who actually was one of these people that settled in a new community. He moved from the Holmes County, Ohio settlements up to New York with some other members of his church to start this new community. My friend Daniel Weaver, who is a member of a New Order Amish church, he and his family have been in the media before, once was in an, in an article for The Guardian where they were interviewed and they talked about technology, which is a very interesting piece. I'll put a link to that in the description. But Daniel is just an example of this phenomenon of Amish moving to different places to start new communities. In, in his community, it's a small community. It's just maybe six or seven households. So they left a place which was basically the second largest of all Amish communities with thousands of Amish, tens of thousands of Amish living there to go to live in very, very different circumstances. So number four is Wisconsin. Wisconsin's maybe not so surprising when you think of its reputation as the dairy state and the Amish had a reputation as the dairy people. Wisconsin actually has over 60 Amish communities. They're, they're more concentrated in the western side of the state. Most of them are smaller communities, but the larger ones are at places like Cashton, Hillsboro, Eau Claire County, Kingston and Dalton area. So now we've gotten to the top three. These are the ones I mentioned at the beginning. You've got over 60% of all Amish live in one of these three states. Number three is Indiana. So Indiana is interesting because it doesn't have a lot of individual communities. It's only got around two dozen or so. So you don't have a lot of new settlements starting there like some of these other states I've mentioned. But they do have quite a few quite old and sizable Amish communities from the largest of them all in the northern part of the state at Elkhart and LaGrange County. Nearby at Napanee, there's a couple of what we'd call Swiss Amish settlements uh, on either side, north and south of Fort Wayne, which are quite large, both of them. There's also quite a sizable Amish community in the southern end of the state in a place called Davis County. Indiana has attracted some interesting Amish uh, settlers, though. And in the 90s, a number of families from Pennsylvania, from Lancaster County specifically, moved into the state. So these are Lancaster County Amish, so you'll see the gray buggies there, unlike most Amish in the state, which are going to drive the, the black color buggies. A little different from the Amish in Lancaster County. Now, Lancaster County, they, they grow tobacco as a cash crop, the Amish there. And they, there's a long history and tradition of doing that. The ones that moved to Indiana decided in their sort of church ordinance or church rules that they were not going to permit tobacco. And that's something that kind of sets them apart a little bit from their parent community. Number two is Ohio. Ohio has a lot of individual Amish settlements, also over 60. Two of the top four largest communities are, are in Ohio. Holmes County is one of those, and that's one I've mentioned already. It's basically one of the most diverse Amish communities. Ohio also has a community of Nebraska Amish, which is a specific group that actually is mainly confusingly found in Pennsylvania. <laughs> There's a story behind that. Uh, but they have a settlement of the Nebraska Amish, which are the Amish who uh, they're probably best known for their white top buggies. It's also quite a traditional group. Ohio, great state for the Amish, long history there, and number two on the list. So by now you probably know which is the number one state. It's Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is home to the best known Amish community, the oldest Amish community, Lancaster County. Uh, this sign behind me is a uh, bird in hand. It is actually the name of a very well-known town in the center of the Amish community there. But Pennsylvania has many more Amish settlements than just Lancaster County. Uh, you'll find Amish basically across the state. One of the most interesting settlements is in the so-called Big Valley in Mifflin County. And this is the place where you find the Nebraska Amish that I mentioned before. There's a very interesting plain community 
uh, around the town of New Wilmington in the western end of the state. This would be a little bit north of Pittsburgh. Smicksburg, Punxsutawney, if you've heard of Punxsutawney Phil, the groundhog, that town where he lives. There's also an, a pretty sizable Amish community in that area as well. So you'll find Amish across the state. Pennsylvania also has around 60 communities. So those are the top 10 states by Amish population, but which are the largest Amish communities? I did a video on that, which you can check out here, where I go through the top 10 communities by size. Thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.